All right, let's talk about the ranking system for All Elite Wrestling. And I understand that it carries over. You've got you've got an, an overall win loss record, and you've got your twenty twenty win loss record. But I'm looking at it right now, and I can't understand it. So Jericho's O and O because he's not had a match yet, right? Moxley is the number one contender at four and O, which makes sense. Cody's two and O, but Cody can't challenge for the belt, so why is he even in there? Pack is yeah. one. And, Pack is one and one. Kenny Omega is zero and zero. What? Why is he? Why is he number number four? And this is this is the guy who should be number two. Kip Sabian. Kip Sabian has three wins and one loss. This makes yeah. no sense. Like the only thing I can think of is if they take into account like who the wins are against and what those records are. But like. I hate the ranking system. Like, I don't need it. Like, yes, wins and losses matter. They really do. Mm. But <clears throat> you give me the right story, I'm going to believe anybody can beat anybody. Yeah. Just putting numbers behind it and being like, oh, this guy's ranked third. Well, no, just give me a number one contenders match, make it a triple threat or a battle royal with the top four, yeah. and go from there. See. Because when they do stuff like that and put Kenny in at number four without having a singles match over Kip, who's had four matches, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense. You, the you, math doesn't add up. On top of it, yeah. Like I, I'm the opposite to you. I like it. I like the stats feel. It's different. It it gives legitimacy to each match, to each win. Every win counts. But then, if every win counts, then. Why do they not make any sense? I get that. You're, so if you look at the overall, obviously Kip isn't there in the overall. But we're meant to say yeah. 2020 is a, a fresh start. So Kip Sabian should be... And I know he's got his feud with Joey Janela. Once he blows that off, which they've kind of done on Dark. Was it Dark or Dynamite? It was Dynamite. It was Dynamite. It was Dynamite two weeks ago. Hopefully there, there's something else that comes to that and that's not the blow off, right? But yeah, he should be the number one contender. Well, after yeah. after after Max, Cody yeah. sh Cody shouldn't even be in, in on it. that Just list. Take him out. Yep. Until there's a mid, and then how are they going to do it with a mid card title? How are they going to do it then? I I don't think they're doing it for a while. I do. I want it, but I don't think it's going to happen for a long time. I think they're going to add. If anything, there'll be a women's tag team title before a mid card title. Really? I think so. Yeah. Tag? They teased a triple tag match. Maybe they said that to us on the boat. Did he say that on the, the boat? The trios, yeah. A, a triple tag team title. Yeah. Yeah, that would be okay. You know, I would prefer a singles, but a triples one would be okay too. I'm thinking two birds with one stone. Intergender. You could have the butcher, the bunny, and the blade be the first triple tag champs. But she's with the free, with the free bird rule. Because or she's, no, as yeah. Yeah, and because she's holding it, then you've got. The mixed gender stuff, yeah, incorporated into that, so that could be another first, two, two, yeah. two firsts at the same time. Yep. Yeah. Love the free bird roll. Yeah, I'm looking at the women's stats as well, and it doesn't make they haven't been updated because it still says Rio's a champ, but yeah, it's Shida is meant to be the next number one contender. She's two one, but it's not. It's Britt Baker. Britt Baker is the number should be the number one contender right now. She's number five. On this list, she's number five. And then I would say Statlander should be right there too. She's zero and one for this year. She's she's not won a match this year so far. Here's the thing, right? Britt Baker should go away and feud with Riho, Riho, and have that little feud there because she said she doesn't turn up for work. She yeah. can have a little feud with her. That frees up Shida, and Shida can have some really good matches with Nyla. Yeah, she does fantastic. She's awesome, really awesome. And Yuka, Yuka's in there. She's she's number four because she's had a win. Hmm. Interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, uh, like I say, I don't really like the ranking system. It just doesn't doesn't add up to me. Like this, if they're gonna do it, they got to do it right and have it like exactly by the numbers or not at all by the numbers yeah right mm -hmm. 
We've got not to some be, of this 50 50 bullshit. We've got to be more on the ball with it. It was one of the big selling points when AEW started, was this ranking yeah. system. And the numbers, then it was going to be stat based. Up. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> there's, only, there's only so many, many stats you can do. I mean, I think, I think in Tony Khan's mind, he was going down the, the American football baseball. Yeah. Well, like, punches landed and stuff oh. like that. Kicks, how many suplexes, how many drop kicks, I don't know. You could totally, are, are wrestling fans really going to care that much? Dave Meltzer would love all that. When he's, yeah, when he's having I... fights with Jim Cornette. <laughs> well, actually, Jim, Kenny Omega has done 25 Snapdragons and... <laughs> Brutal yeah, Brosy has done zero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> like, I don't even know how you'd keep that because it's it's professional wrestling. Like, it's like how how would you classify as a punch landed? Listen, dude, you give me a job, and my job solely is to sit and watch all the wrestling matches that have happened so far and tell you who's landed punches, kicks, and drop kicks. You want to pay me a hundred grand a year? <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll start tomorrow. Well, yeah. That sounds like a decent gig. Mm-hmm. I'd definitely do it. Show Getting me the paid money, to man. watch wrestling. Show me the money. I'd do it for 30 grand. <laughs> At this rate, I'd do it for free. Yeah. Not Just right. do it for fun. Do Just the fun. recognition from AEW. All right. Well, that was an interesting take on the ranking system in AEW. I wonder what everyone else's thoughts are on this. Be interesting to know what people think. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching AEW fans and please please make sure you like and subscribe because if you don't Michael here, he's not going to be happy. Oh, shit. Hang Mega!